Coming up next, I battled the furry monster and gave this guy a haircut. Throw some oil on this and get started. I'll show you the process of cutting my dog's hair. The struggles. You were okay earlier. Come on. Good. Good boy. And the triumphs. Get out that weed whacker and let's shave the beast. Hey, it's Chi. And today, I got something a little bit different. What I'm gonna do is something that needs to be done. And it's this guy. It's Milo! Milo, come here. Come here. Haligito. Haligito in Tagalog means come here. And he knows Tagalog words. I kind of taught him that. Pretty cool, huh? Hey, Haligito. Hey, Gito. He's in dire need of a haircut. And I feel bad for him. He just keeps panting. I think because of the heat. And I have to leave like the air condition and a special fan for him. So I'm gonna attempt to cut his hair. The last time I cut his hair, it took me five hours. You know, I'm not a pro at cutting hair. I don't even know how to cut my own hair. But I experimented with him a couple times and I was able to do it. This is gonna be a while. So this is gonna be a long haul. You're gonna see me towards the end, probably haggard, covered in hair. That's why I'm wearing this dirty tank top or this, uh, you know, beat up tank top. So I could get in and clean them up and hopefully get them down trimmed and look a lot better and he wouldn't have to pant. So here we go. Hey Milo, you ready for a haircut? I got these uh, clippers. They're from Wall and they are dog clippers. So I haven't used them since last year. You can see there's kind of hair build up on there. I'll probably need to oil it. Okay, Milo, say goodbye to your hair. Let's try to attempt this. And you know what? I've been filming him since he was born. So that's why he hates the camera. See how he looks away? <laughs> he does that. Ready, buddy? Let's do this. Time check, 3.42. I probably won't be done till like eight or nine o'clock later on. <laughs> this is gonna be long. All right, I have this toothbrush. I'm gonna kind of clean it off. I have a screwdriver here, so I'll take the blade out and then probably do some, I'll oil it. I could just take them to the groomers and get this done. But sometimes it's kind of fun just to do it on your own. And plus, I don't like to leave him there by himself for like two, three hours, four hours. He's in a cage and everything, and yeah, I don't like Milo being in a cage. Now that I got it clean, let's see if this thing still works. I had it plugged in, I oiled it, and... Still working. We got the attachments. I'm going to probably trim down his hair a little bit. It'll be easier to get to the buzzer get through. I don't want to get it clogged up. Let's start it. Milo, come here. Higuito. Come here. Hey, Baba. Baba. He's on top of the stairs. Baba means down, but he's not coming down. He's, he's at the point that he's, he gets stubborn. I think that's the Beagle and Shih Tzu in them. They're kind of stubborn. Hey, Baba. Hey, Higuito. There we go. All right, assume your position, Milo. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start trimming his hair. And he's gonna get uh, tired soon, so he's gonna end up laying down. So that's the hard part. When I cut his hair, he lays down. He doesn't sit up here. So I'll have to carry him and try to shave the bottom of his hair. But hopefully he'll cooperate today. I think he knows what's going on. He's like, finally, Dad. Finally, you gotta take some of this hair off me. How you feeling, buddy? You okay? Nope. Yeah, you're gonna look different. You're just gonna be a totally different dog. This is what I mean, he's panting. 
You see that he's panting? Hey, come back here. Hey. Hey, Eliguito. Come here. Hey. Don't worry about that. Come here. Hey. Eliguito. Come here. Hey, come here. Come closer. Come closer. Holy smokes. Look at that hair. He has a lot of hair, look at that. So this is a number two. I think I might take him down. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a bald skin like I did before. Maybe I'll take it down to like one. Here's a one. <laughs> it's vibrating. But yeah, I'm gonna continue to do this and I'll show you the progress later. I'll have to get really down. So this is gonna be like elapsed time. I'm not gonna really film everything. You see like he's just laying here so all the underside man it's tough I don't know how these groomers do it I know they make them sit up by holding a rope on their neck but yeah I don't have that kind of setup it's got to do it right on the floor look at all this hair man it's like a Jeez, I wonder if you can make a, a, a fur jacket or something out of this stuff. This stuff stick. Trimming his tail. I like his bushy tail, but you know, it'll grow back. I could tell he's feeling a lot better. He's not um, panting anymore. He's just chilling. So that excess hair. Oh, let me show you the excess hair. Take a look at this. Dang, it's like another dog. It's a puppy right now. Man, look, you have another brother just hanging out next to you. <laughs> I'll show you a little bit of what I'm going to do with the, the number one. Kind It's kind of thick. I'm going to take a, another layer down. I should really brush this off, but I'll show you real quick. Let's go here. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, right there. So this is the number one. Okay, you can see it now. See how it just takes off another layer? Yeah, I'm just gonna go with number one. One time I went to the skin and I felt bad because I kind of cut him a little bit, but he was shaving it. It took a while for it to grow back. Yeah, that's good. Number one is gonna work. You probably have groomers saying that, oh, you're doing it wrong. You don't know how to do it. I'm like, yeah, I told you. I don't even know how to cut my own hair. <laughs> it is what it is. Let's brush this a little bit. There you go. Look at that. Nice and to the skin a little bit. I should have done this before the summer started. Now that we're coming to the burr months, he's gonna have to wear sweaters, which is okay. Okay, so I'll show you the progress. I'll be right back. I gotta get down and uh, do these weird positions to 
really get underneath him. I got hair on my nose. I'm about to sneeze. But here we go so far. Making some progress. Now it's hard. He doesn't want me to cut his front part of his body. He's like scrunched up, so I have to kind of lift him. And the, what I hate about it is my hands would feel like it's vibrating. If I touch it, it feels like there's electric. Electric? It feels like there's electricity running through it from the vibration of the buzzer. I don't know how barbers or hairstylists do it, but jeez, feels weird. Look at that, I'm in a weird position now, but he's sitting here and I'm just shaving away. <laughs> well, bad angle, but you know, you can see. Hey, what's up? Hey, I need I need you to cooperate. Put your head up. I know I know this sucks. I know this sucks. Golly. Come here. Oh my gosh. I don't know how people do this. Put your head up. You were okay earlier. Come on. Head. Good boy. Oh, I'm on head up. Oh, oh, I'm dying over here. Still at it. It's like 527. Oh. <laughs> Get all the hair. It's getting there. Now he's gotta, I'm gonna try to clean up his bottom and his feet and then work on his face. I should be done. I got hair over me. He has been fighting me this whole like 45 minutes. He won't let me cut his underbelly. And every time I try, he kind of like lays down. Ah. So his front's gonna look horrible. I'm going to try to trim it with scissors. He's not letting me do it. Hopefully I can get his face at least. Yeah, I'm trying to work on his face. It's been a struggle. It's already 6.16 so I've been going at it for almost 3 hours maybe. But he let me do a little bit of his face. And his front, it's kind of horrible. He's not letting me touch it. So I'm just going to just do the best I can. Oh, I made a mistake. Look at that. Again, I'm not a professional, so... At least he's being good about it. Let me see if he'll let me cut around his nose. Nope, he's not going to let me... I try to clean up his nose there. He has this overhang of hair. Okay, I'll go back to that. I'm gonna try to do his uh, his face here. It has been a struggle. Look at that. His front is like not even cut that well. He's been laying on his face and not letting me, or he's been laying on his front, putting his face down, not letting me cut. Come along, look, he has a cleaner face. You're looking better, you can see me now, Milo. Okay, I'm not gonna work on your front anymore, Milo. Let's call it good. It's not the best. His haircut's not the best right now, he's not working with me. It's super crooked.
Okay, let's finish off and we'll be done. Oh man, whew, it's about 6.53 and I think I'm done. I think this is the best I'm gonna get him. His underside is not perfect. It still has like hair, but he's not letting me work through there or work. Golly, I'm so tired, I can't even talk. I got hair all over my face and my nose and my eye. I gotta take a shower. So I look kind of haggard, my hair is messed up, but who cares, right? But this is what I've been working on. Let's take a look. So I got his face done. Got a little bit of like hair. It's not perfectly cut here because he's not letting me work. But at least I got the majority of his hair off. That's the goal. Just so he could get a little bit more comfortable. Right, buddy? Time for him to take a shower. I'm going to clean up real quick. I'm going to show you the the how much hair I collected. Like I said, you could probably make a fur coat or a fur jacket out of this. It's nuts. Sheesh. That's uh, another dog. <laughs> this is another dog right here. I got the Wallis. Wallis is to like sweep or sweep away. Best brooms ever. You ever go to the Philippines, you know Filipino friends? Get one of these. Hell yeah. Alright, so here's the mountain. The mountain of hair. Look at that. Oh. Next thing I'm going to do is uh, give him a proper shower, wash him. Still got to clean up. I probably need to vacuum some of this stuff. It's just everywhere. Oh. Look at all your hair, buddy. Feel better? You look different. Come on up. Take your time. Let's go. Let's go in the bathroom. Come on, let's go. Hey, come on, Paso. All right, Milo, ready for a shower, buddy? Okay, Let's jump in there with you. Now he gets the blow dry treatment. He's very spoiled. Where are you going now? Oh, I'm super tired. It's about, let me check the time, 7.49 and I just dropped my watch. That's how tired I am. I haven't eaten today. It's been a super long fast, probably like 27 hour fast. Uh, all right, so this is it. I'm done. So if you like these kind of videos, I'm Chi. Please like and subscribe. Right, Milo? You're out too? And Milo's out too. Okay, go. Bye-bye. Go. Coming down to. And we are out.